the final episode of Monday Night Raw before WWE WrestleMania. We kick it off with Brock Lesnar on his way to the ring. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to more WWE Universe. My, my name is Brendan Plays, and that's right. Brock Lesnar on his way to the ring. Just a few days away from his big contest with Braun Strowman at WrestleMania for the WWE Universal Championship. Looking forward to it. Lesnar has been on a roll, coming back and immediately making a big impact, winning the Elimination Chamber match to get himself a spot at WrestleMania. Looking forward to this one. Lesnar and, well, Bo Dallas. So we'll see how long Bo Dallas lasts in this one. Lesnar with a the counter there. Dallas goes down. Now Lesnar picks up Dallas. Oh no. Up with the shoulders. Oh boy. F5. F5 from Brock Lesnar. Into the cover. Hooks the leg. Dallas in trouble. And it's over. Lesnar makes quick work of Bo Dallas who probably shouldn't, yeah, probably shouldn't have turned up for work today. A little bit out of his element. A little bit out of his league. This is not the place for Bo. But Brock Lesnar, on the other hand, more than ready for WrestleMania. A quick win for him here tonight. He looks the goods. He is pumped up, warmed up, ready to go. Lesnar and Strowman have had their battles back and forth over the last month. Now Lesnar gets a win tonight. And I feel what would be an easy way to send a bit of a message to Braun Strowman, who hits his music. The champion. Marching his way down the aisle. He's on his way to the ring. All right, here we go again. These two men, they just want to fight every week. When one shows up, the other one's not too far away. I don't think Brock Lesnar can have this big spotlight and this big moment without Braun Strowman trying to shut it down. He does not want Brock Lesnar to have a lot of confidence heading into WrestleMania. And this is a, probably a smart idea by the champ. Try and make sure that Lesnar doesn't have the night that he's looking for. Referee's in his way. He's trying to get in the way of these two. Good luck to him. Two big bulls face to face, nose to nose, right in the center of the ring. Strowman getting in the face of Brock and who hits him with a headbutt. Now the right hand, multiple rights. Lesnar coming after Strowman. Big right hands here by Brock. Still can't get the big man down. Still trying. Went for the clothesline. Strowman ducked underneath. Strowman with a few big shots of his own and now the big boot. Well, Braun Strowman, he's the champ. He's fed up with Lesnar. He is fed up with these attacks and he wants to fight back tonight. And he's trying to do so. Brock though with a right hand. Ooh, I think he went for the F5. Strowman shrugging him away. That's the last thing that Strowman wants is, a, is for Brock to hit him with F5. Strowman probably thinking about the running power slam. Brock with a counter. Brock gets Strowman up and slams him down. The big power slam by Brock Lesnar takes, takes care of the champ and takes him out. And Strowman not too phased. He's going to let this, these fans know that he's ready. And he's going to think about getting back at the ring. Lesnar invites him in. But I think these two might just wait another day. WrestleMania around the corner. We get a sneak peek. Brock Lesnar stands tall. He hits the power slam. These two bulls will meet for the title at the big one. I well, can't wait for WrestleMania. Lesnar and Strowman 101. Well, more matches to go. And speaking of WrestleMania, here on Monday Night Raw, Bailey will take on Liv Morgan. Bailey's the number one contender for Becky Lynch's Raw Women's Championship. Ziggler and uh, Baron Corbin will take on Rizango. We'll see Shinsuke Nakamura go one on one with Elias. Tag Team Championship preview right there. Speaking of Becky Lynch, we spent, mentioned her a moment ago. She'll be taking on Ruby Riot, and we will see this match here tonight. And our main event will be Murphy and Styles teaming up to take on Insurgents. Bailey gets a win over Liv Morgan. Ziggler and Corbin too good for Brizango. Elias gets a win over Shinsuke Nakamura. That is huge. And now we'll see the next match, which will be Ruby Riot taking on the Raw Women's Champion. All right, Ruby Riot, big opportunity here to take on Becky Lynch, the Raw Women's Championship. These two have some history. But Becky Lynch getting the better of Ruby Riot in their exchanges. 
But there's no doubt about it, Ruby Riot will be a perfect matchup here tonight for Becky Lynch to try and get herself prepared mentally and physically for WrestleMania. Ruby Riot, 18 and 11. She's had plenty of success in Universe Mob, yet to win the big championship. But uh, you can't, can't say she won't be too far away at some point. Riot will be a good competitive challenge tonight. And who knows, she might even be able to sneak away with a win tonight over the Raw Women's Champion. Well, it's been a chaotic start here to Raw. We had both Dallas went down in a matter of seconds to Brock Lesnar. So we'll see if we get a bit of length out of this match. Becky Lynch, 55 and 33. One of the most winningest women's superstars in Universe Mode history. Raw Women's Champion for a reason. She has been incredibly good. All right, well, it's time, though. Becky Lynch needs to put her money where her mouth is. She's the champ for a reason, but, of course, she talks a big game. She's very confident. And what she's been able to do is champion. And oh, wait a minute! Bailey out of nowhere! Bailey with a clothesline out of nowhere, and Becky Lynch now being assaulted. What is going on here? Ruby Wright decided to take a walk, probably realizing this match isn't going to happen. She's gone out of here, and Bailey attacking Lynch out near the crowd. The referee just waiting in the ring, going, "What is what's happening here? Well, this match." Becky versus Riot, I don't think it's going to happen. If it does, Lynch is going to be seriously hurt. Into the steel steps, the suplex now by Bailey. Well, Bailey, you know, we've mentioned over the last month or so, she started to take a bit of a more darker approach to her her ring game. You know, she won the women's the uh, women's Royal Rumble. She decided to come after Becky Lynch. Hits Lynch now with a Bailey to belly. Well, she's realized being the smiley, friendly, happy-go-lucky girl that, you know, she was on SmackDown, didn't do the job. She didn't win the championship there. She couldn't get it done. Well, she's decided, I need to try and do something different. I need to be a little bit more aggressive. I need to take more risk. I need to really try and do whatever it takes. And that is exactly what she's doing here. She's trying to soften up the champion in the ring post just before WrestleMania. Well, it's not a bad idea. If Becky Lynch is not 100%, she'll still have to defend the championship or forfeit it. The match will have to happen no matter what. And Becky Lynch, you know, if she's not 100%, that'll be a perfect way for Bailey to swoop in and take the title. Maybe not the way that most people would like to win their first major championship, but Bailey could care less, I feel. She just wants to win it hooker by crook. Drives Lynch into the ring post, now back in the ring. And Bailey going to line her up. Becky Lynch is in a lot of pain. And now, here comes Bailey with the Bailey to belly. And now she mocks these fans who love to celebrate with her over the years, but maybe not so much anymore. Bailey has Becky Lynch in the corner. What has she got planned here? Spinning Tornado DDT using the ropes for leverage, spiking. Becky Lynch head first, the champ goes down, and Bailey, wow, she's laid out the champion, there will be no match, it's a no contest, and Bailey heads into WrestleMania with momentum, confidence, and now an injured opponent, the champ will not be 100% for WrestleMania. So get this, I gotta face... AJ Styles and Buddy Murphy tonight in the main event, teaming up with my best friend Samoa Joe. You know, quite honestly, I feel like this is a waste of my time. I've been proving to everyone for the last couple of years here that I am the best right now on this roster. I dominated NXT and I'm already half started to dominate Monday Night Raw. I have been an incredibly great Intercontinental Champion. I've already beaten Buddy Murphy. I beat him at the Royal Rumble. I proved to him that he's not in my league. So what? He's been able to get a few wins. So what? He's getting a little bit of momentum. Who did he beat? What, Sheamus? So what? I could beat him any night of the week. Quite honestly, Buddy Murphy is the luckiest guy in the world right now because at WrestleMania, he gets to share a ring with me. I am a future Hall of Fame talent. I have done everything in my power to prove that I deserve my place to be here. And Buddy Murphy wants to try and take that from me. I have scratched and clawed. And Surgeons has done everything that we could do to get ourselves in this position. We have not been handed anything, 
but yet Buddy Murphy is handed title shot after title shot. This is ridiculous. Tonight, Murphy, you're going to get a taste of WrestleMania. I'm going to put you down, and at WrestleMania, I will put you down for good. Well, Robert Roode is not exactly very happy with the fact that he has to face Buddy Murphy, not only tonight, but of course, at WrestleMania, Roode will be teaming up with this man, Samoa Joe, here tonight, as Samoa Joe prepares himself for a match against AJ Styles at WrestleMania. I am looking forward to that one. Joe, former Universal Champion, Styles, former WWE Champion, the clash of the two giants of Raw. Two of the top dogs, perhaps the two next men in line for a championship opportunity. They will meet, maybe in an unofficial number one contenders match, but at least what it will do is decide who is the next big man, who's the next big dog, who's the top guy, who's the man. That's what it's going to decide. Robert Roode, well, there's no doubt about it. He deserves to be the Intercontinental Champion. He has an impeccable record. Not many superstars here in Universe Mode have got better. He has been so good. And he's right. He dominated NXT. And he's dominating Monday Night Raw. And to be fair to Rude, it was, a, it was a tough start. You know, he had a lot of momentum. Had a big name when he came into Raw. But he wasn't getting opportunities. And that was not until Insurgents took them from others. You know, they did whatever they had to do to get themselves in the position that they are in now. So Rude, you can understand that he's not happy that someone like Buddy Murphy gets a second chance. He feels as though WrestleMania should be big matches, unique matches, big opportunities for someone. Well, to be fair, it is a big opportunity for Murphy. But Rude believes that, you know, surely there's got to be someone else. But the fact that is this, you know, you can say what you want to say about Buddy Murphy. You know, he had a dreadful start to his career, but the last two to three months, he's been incredibly good. 11 and 18 is very deceptive because Buddy Murphy's probably won 10 out of those 11 matches in the last couple of months. And most of those have been in a row. So this is a guy that has been excellent. Yes, Robert Roode beat Murphy at the Royal Rumble, but this is a new man. Buddy Murphy's beaten Austin Theory. He's beaten Sheamus. He has proven himself time and time again over the last couple of months. And he is an improved superstar, he's a better wrestler, and he's a smarter man. He's learned from his mistakes, he's gained experience, and he's more than ready for the WrestleMania opportunity of a lifetime. Yes, the money has to be on Robert Roode. You know, you'd be crazy to think that, you know, Buddy Murphy's going to beat Robert Roode. But you never know. Miracles do happen. And Murphy, he's got momentum. You just don't know. Robert Rui cannot afford to take him lightly. And we know AJ Styles and Samoa Joe won't be taking each other lightly. As we mentioned a moment ago, two of the big guys, two of the big dogs here on Raw. If AJ Styles isn't the second contender, he's probably the third. And Samoa Joe will be the only guy ahead of him, of course, other than Brock Lesnar. So, you know, you're probably looking at the, the, the uh, second and third ranked superstars, Styles and Joe, meeting each other at WrestleMania. You can say what you want to say, who's second, who's third. I have no idea. It's too hard to split them. But ever since coming to Raw, after being forced to leave SmackDown, AJ Styles came to Raw and had his sights set on the gold, and Samoa Joe was standing in his way right from the moment go. And we are underway this Raw main event tonight. We already had one match cancelled. We had one match last just a mere matter of seconds. Well, let's hope we get something of some substance for our main event here. The final match before WrestleMania. Buddy Murphy gets his chance not only to get his hands on Samoa Joe, a member of Insurgents, but more importantly, the man that he'll face at WrestleMania, Robert Roode. And look, you know, let's be fair, Buddy Murphy's had a tough time of it. Oh, big power slam by Joe. Tough time of it, but it's been a hell of a comeback. You know, the Slammy Award for Comeback of the Year or Superstar, you know, I suppose turning their career around or most improved it's probably a better award the most improved superstar of the year it has to be Buddy Murphy a guy that I think he had one in 17 record or something horrendous like that it was you know at less than 10% win loss record the worst in universe mode to come back and now be in a Wrestlemania match in a continental championship on the line and a realistic chance of maybe winning it 
That is very impressive. Well, here we go. Rude and Murphy right now. As Robert Rude. Oh, straight away. He's got the submission locked in. He's got the cross face locked in. And Murphy quickly escapes. I don't know if Rude will beat you with submissions, but he'll certainly inflict plenty of pain. It's not really his go-to. But uh, no doubt about it, Robert, Robert Rude, you know, he has got the potential to make the move up to potentially being a world champion. You know, he is that good. I mean, he's got a great record. I think it's pretty similar over on SmackDown. We look at Bobby Lashley. He's got probably the best record in Universe Mode. Um, more than capable of making that next leap to the main event status. And I think Robert Roode is the exact same. I think the only reason Robert Roode probably hasn't made that leap is because, of course, Samoa Joe has his eyes set on the championship. And for a big portion of the last year, Joe was the champion. Oh, backstabber there by Roode. He caught out M Murphy well. But Styles will get a tag. Plenty of history between Styles and Roode as well, who went for the clothesline, did Styles, and missed. So, Insurgents have had their issues with Styles in the last couple of months. And Robert Roode would love nothing more than to beat Styles tonight for his leader, Samoa Joe. And Samoa Joe back in the ring now, and this is a matchup that I'm looking forward to. These two men just at the Elimination Chamber just completely went after each other the entire time. They just had a bone to pick with one another, and ever since that match, you just felt as though something had to give. We had to see it officially, one-on-one, -on -one, and they have been targeting each other Ever since Styles came to Raw, two months now, and now they'll finally meet to prove who's the better man. And that's the best way to go about it. You know, you, you got to fight each other in the middle of the ring. You know, the person who gets the win is the better man. Simple as that. Let's hope that Insurgents plays no part, and I don't think they will, considering that uh, the Raw Tag Team Champions, Kevin Owens and Elias, they had their own match. Robert Roode, the Intercontinental Champion, has his own match against Murphy, of course. So you'd have to get the feeling that maybe they'll be a little bit busy focusing on their own personal affairs to get involved with Samoa Joe and AJ Styles. But uh, let's be honest, it is Insurgents. They'll do what it, they need to do. As Rude, look out. Here comes a swinging neckbreaker. Hit perfectly. As Styles met with another right in the corner again. AJ Styles getting pumbled away there by Robert Rude. Here comes a bit of tag team work. Samoa Joe going to pick up Styles. And Rude helps him hit a spike pile driver. Perfection there by Insurgents. And this is a group that at one point held the Universal Championship and was just dominating the entire roster. They lost a bit of their momentum. They lost a bit of a grip of that control. But they've regained it in recent times, holding the tag titles, holding the Intercontinental, Intercontinental Championship. The last piece of the puzzle, though, is, of course, the... Universal Championship. As now Styles whipped back into Joe's corner. He'll bring him back over to Murphy's corner. Bit of a dangerous scenario there, and it is. And Murphy tags himself in. Joe with a mistake. And Joe, though, hits him with a German suplex. So, yes, bad move there by Joe. Bringing Styles towards the opposition's corner. He got met with a kick by Murphy, and now the tag. And Murphy... He's handing Joe a bit of a beat down in the corner over there. Murphy swings Joe down. Well, this is a big step up. If he can pin Samoa Joe tonight, I'll tell you what, but Buddy Murphy's the real deal. Sleeper hold applied now. Standing sleeper and counter there by Joe. Not, not a bad way to counter. Just try and use his own body weight for a bit of momentum. And uh, Murphy hits Samoa Joe. Suplex there. There's a chance to try and get another tag if he wants it. To get Styles back in there with Joe, which I'm sure Styles would love his hands on Joe again. WrestleMania is not too far away, ladies and gentlemen. We'll have all the coverage right here on Brendan Plays. And uh, there will be some more matches that we'll talk about over on SmackDown in our next episode. As we'll cover all the SmackDown side of things. But the Raw side of things is, hang on, Samoa Joe, insecurity. Of course, Lesnar and Strowman, Joe, Styles, Murphy, and Rude. And we'll have Shitsuke Nakamura, Finn Balor, teaming up to take on Insurgents, Kevin Owens, Kevin Owens and Elias for the Royal Tag Titles, and Becky Lynch and Bailey one-on-one. -on -one. 
for the Raw Women's Championship. So that's the five matches on the Raw side of things as Styles drops the knee. So it's a pretty impressive Raw card that our Raw General Manager Christian has put together. We know SmackDown General Manager Edge, his job has been a bit of jeopardy over the last couple of years. So there'll be a bit of pressure on both of our general managers to do a big job at trying to create an impressive side of their WrestleMania card. I'm going to say the raw side of things is looking pretty good. Looking forward to it. Certainly looking forward to these two men locking up. Joe and Styles, two of the best in-ring in -ring workers over the last probably 20 years. No doubt about that. These guys have got a wealth of talent. And you'll pay to watch them no matter what as Joe springboard into the crossbody. Into the cover. Doesn't hook the leg. Will that cost him maybe? As a kick out of two there by Styles. Yeah, Joe has been suffering injuries over the last few years of his career. But he's really starting to get it back here now in universe mode. He's been excellent. Suplex now into the dragon. And Joe looking for another German suplex. Will find it. Doesn't keep the shoulders down though. Yeah, Joe, after losing the Universal Championship, will be frustrated that uh, he hasn't had another opportunity since the Royal Rumble. He slipped away a little bit. He now has to wait and re-earn that chance. You know, he had the shot at the Elimination Chamber to make it to WrestleMania. He lost, partly due to AJ Styles' involvement. But, of course, Lesnar got the better of him at the end. There's Joe. Oh! Slammed down by Styles. Fantastic modification late in that move there by Styles. As now Styles looking for the calf crusher. He's got it locked in. And Joe apparently got a foot on or underneath the rope. I, I don't know what the referee was looking at there. Maybe just marginally there. And here's the cover again. Joe in trouble, but he'll kick out. Well, Murphy's got himself in this match. Can he deal with the former world champion Samoa Joe? Might be easy. Couple of combinations though. Now the shot. Well, I can tell you what, if he goes toe to toe with Samoa Joe, he can handle Robert Roode. Robert Roode is fantastic, but hasn't won a world championship yet, unlike Samoa Joe. So if Murphy can take down a former world champ, that's got to pump him up as it is right now and give him a real confidence boost heading into WrestleMania. Robert Roode waiting on the apron. Love to get in there, but uh, Samoa Joe is going to try and survive against Murphy. Joe misses the clothesline. Murphy gets it with the boot, but Joe with the quick tag, and there's a big mistake there. As Robert Roode with a spear. What a takedown there by the champ. And that's experience right there. Murphy wasting time. Robert Roode did not do that at all. Murphy, though, has Roode up, and there's the running power bomb. The running sit-out powerbomb. But is it enough? No. Big knee right to the face. Surely that's going to be enough now. Root is out. Is he down for three? No, he'll kick out at two. Well, Root is one of the most resilient men we know are here on the roster. Murphy needs more than that. And Murphy's going to try and find it. Oh, my goodness. What about that from Buddy Murphy? He calls that Murphy's Law. And it is a win for Buddy Murphy. He has pinned the Intercontinental Champion just before WrestleMania. Murphy wins. And I think Robert Roode may have just gotten the shock of his life because Buddy Murphy has beaten him. Maybe now Roode will take Murphy seriously. Maybe now Roode will come into WrestleMania and realize he might be in a lot of jeopardy. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this episode of Universe Mode. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like on it in the comments down below. Let me know, do you think Murphy can beat Rude? Let me know your predictions on the WrestleMania card so far. Thank you for watching. We'll see you for SmackDown.